Hello everybody, welcome to another Making Monday Lovable video. And today's video, I call it um, Work is Life and Life is Work. And it has, as usual, a specific reason. And I truly personally feel that there's only one thing for me, and that's my life. The 30 something years I've lived and the 17 more that I will live. It's one thing, my life. And I fill my life with all kinds of stuff. And that's, yeah, kindergarten, school, studies, university, PhD, all these things. Everything that I do and that I fill my life with is part of my life. And the, the other things, like developmental stages, or constructs and systems in society we go through that I mentioned before. Uh, they are the hobbies that I pursue. They are the people that I am involved with. My family, my friends, partners, uh, clients, guides, teachers, whoever is crossing my way and is part of, it is part of my life. And that can be for a short time it can also be for a longer time. It can be my whole life, like I assume my parents will be part of all my life, my sister as well. And my granny will be part of my life only because she will move on to the next life that she will live. And I will still be here on that plane. And then there's friends that come and go. And a really big part of my life is also work um, because usually it's like this we are supposed to work we should work to earn money to make a living to pay bills and so on so forth this is how society works that's set so we pick a work and and that work is in my opinion part of my life it's nothing separate from my life um, I used to say, uh, I admit that 100%, in my PhD, uh, I entered my PhD and my interview where I, I would say that I like to have a good work-life balance, that I do all I can in my work during my PhD, doing experiments, analyzing data, writing papers, all of these things, but I do not want to work on the weekend. That's my life. I want to have a life next to... Now that I'm saying this, it sounds ridiculous. <laughs> but I, I, I continue. I want to have a good and proper life apart from my work, which is my PhD. And I said that to the bosses that I had, my supervisors, and uh, those that would be uh, my, the closest professors that would guide me throughout my PhD. And that was my that was something that I officially stated and believed in and wanted to have like this. And they were fine with it. Nobody would say anything. I'd be like, oh you weird or something. Maybe it's special because yeah, in Sweden people look at this work life balance, right? And I then throughout my PhD I never worked on the weekends. It happened sometimes that I would have to water my plants or sample my plants on a Saturday or Sunday, whatever. I would do that. And it was and it was tough. I would work more than I would work and write more than eight hours per day. And at the end when I would finalize my thesis. Yeah, I of course also worked on the weekends. But that was my belief was to separate this. I wouldn't even read papers on the weekend. It is time to do it from Monday to Friday in my work time. And I wouldn't particularly say that I was a person that couldn't enjoy her work life. I did enjoy my PhD and and I wasn't like, you know, I wasn't running away from it for, and living for the weekends or anything. Um, and it was, I, I think I'm 100% almost sure that I was the only PhD student in my department that would be like this and do like that because the rest would just overwork and constantly, even postdocs, everybody. And this switched radically when I defended my PhD, took half a year to fix everything around starting my own company and then start my own company and have a part-time position on the site in the first year. Because then I worked from home. 
and then everything merged into one thing. Before I would be like, no, no paper comes at my home. It's, it's like separate work and life. Um, but then choosing to become a scientific illustrator, combining my passion for science and art, while I was before frustrated with a system, didn't feel like I belong, that I bring value to the world. All of this shifted. It's not just that I started to work from home because I was also part of a startup incubator, so I had an office space. It's not just that work entered my life, but work kind of got integrated more into my life because I truly did something, I truly started something that was so close to me, that was me, like science and art and helping others and um, starting in my own company and all the things that I was supposed to learn. It was, there was a complete alignment happening that it was, it, it became one and I loved it. And I still love it. I love to work from home. And I really enjoy to have my workspace here in my living room. Or actually on my balcony in the summer because I work from there. Because so like I can sit in the sun and be outside. Uh, so it is all one thing. And I'm not bothered by it at all. If I want to, I work on a weekend. If I don't, I don't. If I want to take off during the week, I take off during the week because it actually doesn't freaking matter. I love what I do. I love to illustrate science and I love to interact with my clients and I love to sketch and I love like even I enjoy even the bookkeeping that I'm supposed to do regularly, by the way, and within 10 days I need to do the July bookkeeping because it's, it's just one thing and I realized that there's this thing that I used to call work-life balance. It's completely off. It's, it's, it's not like it's off unbalanced, but I don't need a balance because what I do is just one flow, basically. It's truly what I align with, truly what I love. It's, yeah, sometimes it gets stressful and sometimes tight deadlines and a lot, and then it, it might be a little bit more than usual, but it's, it's just the fluctuations of life and they represent the fluctuations in my work as well. And in my feeling is it, it should be like this. Life, we just have one life and work is part of that life. It's not like you have a work life and you have a, another life. The work is part of the life and life is part of work because everything that happens to me and everything else that's not related to work affects my work and everything that happens to work also can affect everything else because it's my life so it's all the same and if we think about how much time we spend at work let's say we start working with 25 uh, or some I'll start working early and then eight hours per day for like on average 20 260 days within a year for 40 years it's tons of time and now imagine if you work in something or with someone that's just a pain and you don't enjoy it, it's not aligned with you and your values and your skills and your gifts. It's just waste a lifetime. It's not like you can have everything else is great and you go back to work and you it's fine that it's actually not good. It's not fine. It's wasted lifetime, it wasted energy, wasted your spirit, your soul, your heart, everything. So this is why there's no more life balance for me. It's all one thing and ideally it's something that's aligned with one, a person and in my case with me it's aligned and I feel really great and happy that I can work from home, doesn't matter, none, none of it, it's, my work is part of my life and I'm just so happy that it's like this. I'm really super grateful that I did this and I managed everything and I'm just looking forward to all the other things that will come in life uh, related to work or not. Um, it's just gonna be good and I like the fact that I see it as this one big blob of amazing of the amazing thing that I call my life so that's it for today I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences on that topic and wish you a nice Monday and talk to you next week bye